Etch a chan saw it. I'm Karin. This is a story from when I just got married to my husband, Tokusa. You want to have a wedding ceremony? I was thinking about it. What about you? I'd rather have an extravagant honeymoon than a ceremony. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Let's just have a small banquet. Okay. We weren't really interested in a ceremony to begin with, so we decided to have a banquet with close relatives instead. The place we chose was old, but had a lot of space. It also happened to be my parents' house. Wow! You finally got married! Things will be a bit lonely, but I'm happy for you. I can rest easy knowing you're with Tokusakun. <laughs> I'll do my best. Congrats, Karin. I hope you have a happy marriage. Thanks, big bro. Hey, you really don't plan on having a wedding ceremony? You were both single in your 30s. It's not like you don't have money, right? This is my brother's wife, Azumi. They got married four years before us, and they have a son named Akamatsu who just turned two. They live close to our parents' house and visit them often. However... Hey, it's fine if they choose to hold a ceremony or not. Well, we decided to use that money on our honeymoon instead. And some people we know decided not to have ceremonies. Oh, well, all my friends are having ceremonies. And we would have to pay a lot for gifts anyway. Wedding aside, you could at least have fancier food. Having a banquet at your parents' house isn't really much, is it? Ugh. <sighs> Azami! Why do you always go around saying things like that? Just as Kuroki said, Azumi-san always says things out of line, and that's why I don't really like her too much. She's not really a bad person, and she's a decent mom. A few days later after the banquet... Hey, mom. Hi, Karin. Can you talk now? Yeah, what's up? Your aunt that lives in Guma came over. Oh, Aunt Susie. Yeah. She left you your wedding gift, so I want you to come get it soon. I have gifts from other relatives as well. When do you think you can come get them? I'll come by next Sunday with Takusa. I have to send thank you gifts too. Okay, I'll be waiting. And then... Next Sunday rolls around. Takusa and I went to my parents' house. Welcome. Sorry for the long drive over here. Don't worry. It didn't take an hour to get here. After this, there was a crazy event waiting for us. Wow, something smells good. I thought you two would be hungry, so I made curry soup. Really? Yay, I love your curry soup. Thanks for going through the trouble. Come in, come in. Your gifts are on the altar, so grab them when you go home. Okay, I'll call Auntie and the others when we get back. I also bought a cake. All right. <laughs> There's always delicious food in this house. <laughs> oh, that's right. <gasps> I have to pray in front of the altar. <sighs> hmm? Why are these delicious looking grapes here? Oh, those are a gift from our neighbor, Dachi Bonasan. His relatives are farmers. Oh, really? Tashibana-san's face is scary, but he's kind and sincere. That's right. Just the other day. <sighs> 20 minutes later. Honey, it's about time. Uh, oh, no. I just went on talking. You two are thirsty, right? What do you want to drink? I'll have kalpis. I'll have some tea. Huh. Huh. I'll heat up some food, so wait a minute. Here's your spoon. Ah, thanks. Ah, all right, I'll go get the plates. What? Huh? <gasps> what are you doing? W what? Open the door, I said open the door. <gasps> it sounds like it's coming from outside. Huh? Open up, open the door. Uh, Ozumi san what in the world is going on? Let's go check it out. Azumi san! Uh, Dad! What's wrong? Akamatsu is. The car door's got locked and Akamatsu can't get out! What? What did you say? Azumi san somehow left her keys in the car, and Akamatsu kun accidentally locked the doors. 
It was the dead of summer and the sun was at its peak. The temperature in the car was rapidly increasing. We have to hurry and get the door open, or Akamatsu's kun's life will be in danger. What, what do we do? I'll call road service first. However, they told us that it would take about an hour for them to get out to us. What would you like to do? I'll send someone out immediately if you can wait. No, we can't wait that long, so never mind. Well, let's break the window, sis. What? D don't joke like that. If you break the window, the repair cost will be ridiculous. Is there really the time to be saying things like that? Anyway, we have to save Akamatsu-kun. Dad, do you have a hammer or something? Got it right here. Take it. What? But wait a minute. Yeah! All right. <laughs> Hazumi-san was reluctant, but we unlocked the door from the passenger side and got Akamatsu-kun out safely. There, there. I know it was scary. Akamatsu-kun's body is burning up. It'd be bad if he got a heat stroke, so I'm going to the hospital. Yes, please. Azumi-san, let's go together. Yeah, my car! I just bought it last year! <sighs> Azumi-san was so wrapped up in her car, she didn't care about Akamatsu-kun. I went to the hospital by myself. Looks like it was slight heat exhaustion. His symptoms are already going down. So he just needs to rest at home and he'll be fine. I see, that's great news. If anything comes up, don't hesitate to come back. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, the doc said if he rests at home, he'll be fine. We're on our way back now. Phew. Thankfully, Akamatsu-kun immediately recovered afterwards. Red vroom vroom. Yeah, there's a blue vroom vroom too. He was super energetic on the car ride back. But I'm wondering, why did Asumi san stop by my parents' house? I'm guessing she had some quick errand to run since she left Akamatsu kun in the car. After I got back, I found out the reasoning behind Asumi san's actions. We're back! Bye bye! Uh, uh, um. D did something happen? Sure did. <sighs> Our presents were on the altar, right? Huh? Yeah. The presents that our relatives gave us. Azumi san stole them. Huh? What? Yep, she came over to steal our presents. Apparently, Azumi san came over the other day and she saw the gifts on the altar. So then, she broke into my parents' house and put the gifts in her eco bag. But then the incident with Akamatsu kun locking the door happened. Using the duplicate key to sneak into our house. Looks like she was in the closet the whole time we were here. Huh? The closet. She was in there all that time? Basically, Akamatsu-kun wasn't in that car for just a few minutes. He was left in there for at least 30 minutes. How dangerous. I'm glad we broke the window. Um, well, how did you know azumi san solar gifts? Well, I found this eco bag a while ago. There's some red letters showing through the bag. Y you're right. azumi san apologize to Karin. Yes, and explain why you did what you did. Because I really don't have any money. Akamatsu's supposed to go to daycare next year, but at this rate, I won't be able to afford tuition or money to take care for him. The application date is coming up soon, so I was thinking of borrowing money. What? Really? But we didn't hear about this at all from Kuroki. Even if that's the case, that gives you no grounds to just take their gift money. And how much do you need? Uh, um, 800. Huh? But, but you had a lot of money from after you got married, right? Did you use it all? Are you basically telling us that you have no savings to where you can't pay out $800? Well, I, uh, anyways, we're in a tight spot with money. You're doing just fine, right, Karin and son? Both of you work, and you didn't have a wedding, so you must have money. Huh? Plus, you two are over 30, so you don't plan on having kids, right? What? You're swimming in money, so it's okay if I take your wedding gifts. What? Hold up. I sympathize with the situation around Akamatsu-kun and daycare, but that doesn't give you a reason to steal from us. And you put your child in danger to do it. So what the hell are you talking about? Huh? 
this is all your fault for having such a long conversation. If you would have hurried up, Akamatsu-kun wouldn't have locked the door. That's why we told you stealing was a problem in the first place. <sighs> Calm down a bit. I don't want Akamatsu to hear this kind of conversation. I'll double check with Kuroki about your savings. Huh? No, that's... We don't have to tell Kuroki. Oh? Did you think we would keep quiet about this? <laughs> then, we called my brother on his way home from work and told him to come to our parents's. Huh? You don't have any savings? You're joking, right? So you didn't know anything about this, Kuroki? Yeah. Once I started getting paid, I gave all the money to Azami, besides a small allowance I left for myself. Azami, did you... Uh, um... Tell the truth! Huh. Getting the idea that she couldn't run away, Azami explained everything. Um, actually, every month I had enough money for daily living, but... Um, about a year ago, I used that money on stocks. What? Stocks? In the beginning, Azumi-san got some money from her stocks, so she was completely hooked. But she wasn't able to stop, so she lost the money that Kuroki had saved up when he was single. The money for Akamatsu-kun, health insurance, you name it. All down the drain. Um, I have a bit of debt, too. What? All the money I poured my blood, sweat, and tears for? Bro, this is so bad. I don't know what to say. But, but it's fine. The stocks will do better next time. So could you let this one go? Don't mess around. You want me to look the other way when you used up my savings and stole Karin's gift money? Akamatsu almost died because of you! Why can't you just apologize? S sorry but, um... You think a sorry fixes this? Just as you expect, my brother divorced Azumi and took custody of Akamatsu-kun. They now live at our parents' house. Azumi's parents took the responsibility of paying off her debt and my brother's savings she used. We were thinking of contacting the police about her stolen gifts, but she didn't get away with it. And for the sake of Akamatsu-kun's future, we decided against it. With all that said and done, we sure got caught up in something crazy. You said it. Although the ones who were the most caught up were Kuroki-san and Akamatsu-kun. Yeah. It's a good thing Azumi-san was caught in her lies before she got a huge debt she couldn't pay back. Yeah. And I'm really glad Akamatsu's safe. My brother has calmed down and is doing his best as a papa to care for his precious son. I don't know what happened to Azumi-san, but I hope her parents rip her a new one. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。お金を稼ぎたいのであれば、軽率に株などに手を出すべきではないと思うんですよね。一度儲けてしまって、魅力に取り憑かれてしまったのが良くなかったです。何より自分の子供より、お金のことを